Okay, yes, so Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct. Uh, very good for casual wear in the summer. Next, I'll talk about uh, the Leak Encre Noir. Um, this actually smells very expensive, way more expensive than it costs. Um, kind of, to me, it smells like what I'd imagine a Charlotte to smell like. Uh, it's very reminiscent of kind of dash and just a phantom kind of a, a smell. It kind of it smells like what you'd expect a haunted house to smell like, or along those lines. It's in kind of it's got character, but it's not got character at the same time. It's uh, it's weird to actually explain. Um, because it's kind of got a ghostly kind of a smell to it. Uh, it performs very well, actually, as well. Um, it lasts maybe eight or so hours. Uh, yeah, eight, or eight to nine hours on my skin. Uh, it projects quite well. Um, quite, you, yeah, you definitely kind of get a, an afterlife kind of a smell to it. Um, very difficult to explain the smell of it other than it smells like kind of phantom uh, like a black mist if you're like walking through black mist that's what this reminds me of that's what if you kind of close your eyes when you're smelling it it's kind of walking as well to my mind anyways um, it's kind of got that kind of Serious kind of unknown kind of aura to it. Uh, it smells very expensive again. Um, uh, very very high quality ingredients um, in it. And you can definitely smell it because it smells very smooth at the same time. Uh, so Lalique or Grainoir. Next, I will talk about Just Jack Oud Oak. So this is a dupe of Tom Ford's Oud Wood. Um, and actually, it is very, very close, at least to my nose. It, is. it doesn't perform as well, but Oud Wood by Tom Ford performs very well. Uh, lastly, turn. 11 plus hours and has really good projection it's very masculine and um, this maybe performs lasts about eight nine hours or so it's all you really need you don't need um something that um projects like an absolute monster and lasts 20 hours or something uh, so this is very very good um alternative to Tom Ford Oud Wood. Um in actual fact the company makes sense uh, which have the Just Jack and the um Just Jack which do dupes of Tom Ford and uh, Joe Malone dupes as well are from the same company makes sense there are very very good alternatives as well i find at least all the ones i've tried are very very good alternatives to the joe malones and the tom fords uh, obviously they're not as high quality and they don't have the same performance but scent wise they do get like 95 percent of the actual scent profile of the tom fords and the joe malones so um yeah, this is a very, very good and wearable version of Oud Wood by Tom Ford. Um, it's just Jack Oud Oak. I actually really like the bottles as well. They're very, very nice bottles. Um, but yeah. And very masculine and very, um, 
it's not as upscale as Top 40, but which is a little bit more formal, but at the same time, it's very versatile as well. Um, next, uh, CK1 Shock. Uh, actually, very, very good fall winter fragrance and very good uh, into tobacco fragrance and it's a very wearable tobacco fragrance and um, if you're trying to get into tobacco as a notion fragrance is that this is what I suggest starting off with uh, it lasts like seven hours again um, and uh, projects very well and um, it's definitely very very good for casual wear and somewhat uh, dressed up wear in the fall and the winter so smart casual would probably be the best for this um, it's very very good for day sh for day night and fall and um, winter as well I'd say uh, it's definitely better choices for date night but would be very very good uh, it's kind of smoky and um, I don't think it has incense but it kind of the smokiness smells like it could come from incense but I don't think it does have incense but makes it smell a little bit more expensive because it smells like incense is in it which is an expensive ingredient from what I'm aware of um, so that kind of um, building of that kind of scent in the fragrance was um, makes it smell more expensive than it actually is um, very very versatile as well you can wear this night's out, you can wear it day night, you can wear it I wouldn't wear it in the summer, but you could wear it in the summer, like it's definitely wearable in the summer. You could wear it all year round, but I suggest it more so for the fall and for the winter. Just because of the sound profile being so kind of dark and smoky. So yeah. Calvin Klein CK1 shock for him. Next, we will talk about one I've talked about quite a bit already. Um, Bentley for Men Intense. Uh, this is a niche fragrance in a designer bottle at a designer price tag. The bottle isn't the best, it's not the worst, but it's definitely. It's um, leather and boozy. Very, very leathery. Very, very boozy. Kind of, when I smell this, I think of James Bond in a car, in a car chase. Just, <laughs> um, it's definitely a very, very masculine fragrance, and it's definitely something you'd wear as an alpha male. Um, but not like kind of super macho. Uh, it's just kind of suave. It's very. Um, upscale fragrance as well. I'd wear this um, smart casual to quite formal as well. Uh, you could wear it um, somewhat casual but I wouldn't dress it down too much because it is a very elegant smelling fragrance. Um, it's extremely well blended which I've said before but because you can you can tell that there's leather, you can tell the booziness is in it but it's definitely it's quite difficult to, to tell the notes apart because of how well they're blended. Um, it, the leather and the booziness from the initial spray to the dry down and it's very difficult to pick up on anything else that's in it. There's a small bit of spice, there's a little bit of woods and a little bit of spiciness in it as well. Uh, but that's very difficult to actually kind of pick up on unless you're kind of trying to pick up on it um, extremely high quality and quite confused as to why it's priced at what it's priced at because it's definitely worth more than it's priced 
Bentley from Edmonton's. Next, I will talk about one that smells very, very good, but smells um, like it would last longer than it actually does. Uh, Zara Rich Warm Addictive. It's a fantastic fragrance for day and night specifically. Um, but fall, it's very good. I wouldn't wear it in, this, in the winter because I don't think it would actually perform well enough. But here in Ireland, um, it probably would. So it would be something I would wear in the winter. It's kind of got um, Lanoid Alone by Apeson Alone kind of um, a vibe and um, it's kind of along that scent profile uh, it doesn't perform very well though uh, it doesn't perform horribly lasts maybe six ish hours maybe just under six hours um, and on my skin anyways and it projects mm, moderately um, that's what makes it so good for date night. Um, it's kind of a fragrance that needs to be discovered on you rather than announced. Um, and because of that, uh, it makes it very, very good for date night because it is extremely addictive, like it says. It is definitely rich, warm, and addictive. Um, fantastic quality it smells expensive but it does not perform very well if this performed well this would be a 10 out of 10 fragrance uh, it's maybe an 8.5 or 9 from for me just because it doesn't perform as well as I would personally like it to because it's one of my favorite smelling fragrances that I have um, so yeah, Zara Rich Warm Addictive, definitely worth picking up. Um, but at the same time, the price it's at, I wouldn't have been expecting it to perform super well. It's just that it smells so good. Um, I would have loved for it to perform a bit better than it does. So yeah, Zara Rich Warm Addictive, and by the way, that's not me knocking it. Either. Um, it's a fantastic fragrance, it wouldn't be in the list if it wasn't. Um, definitely worth checking out. So, rich, warm, addictive. And last uh, is one that is quite similar, performs a little bit better. Um, and it's Mandarina Duck Pure Black. Uh, again, La Nuit de Lone by Lives. You've seen her own kind of a vibe. I actually really like the bottle of this as well actually. It's a very kind of masculine bottle. Um, it does last maybe seven ish hours, maybe just over. Uh, projects a little bit better than the Zara Rich Warm Addictive, uh, but it doesn't smell as good as the Zara one does. Not to say that this smells bad, it definitely doesn't. It's a fantastic fragrance. Um, um, it does perform better. It's kind of got that kind of uh, cardamom and uh, spicy kind of dark resinous type of a DNA, just like um, Zara Rich Warm Addictive. It's very enticing and very. Um, Kind of, what's the word? It's kind of, it draws people in when they initially spray it, or when they initially s s can smell it. Um, it will draw people in, but they do need to get close enough to smell it then. So that's the only thing that doesn't perform the best. Uh, it does perform better than Zara though. Again, um, it doesn't smell in my opinion as nice as the Zara one though doesn't smell as expensive in terms of scent profile as Zara Rich Warm Addictive but it is still very very good and definitely worth picking up for the price so Mandarina Duck 
pure black. 